Hello, so we're back, and this time we have a Lenovo laptop to repair. i3 IdeaPad 3. The problem with this one, pressing the power button, nothing happens. So the laptop uh, coming from a local repair shop with no power. I will say, let's plug a charger, we have a round pin charger, and see what it's doing. Maybe you can figure it out before we are opening the laptop. And we found the adapter. So, plug in the charger. And the laptop is doing nothing, it's taking no power. Pressing the power button, nothing. It's taking no current at all, nothing, just dead. But before we are starting, let's speak about today's video sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay, it's your one-stop solution. Based on the fact that all kinds of PCBs, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal, are available from them. Every new register, they are getting $5 welcome bonus, which is about 10 PCBs. So you will get 10 PCBs for free. All you have to do is to pay for the postage. Now, I did check myself the PCB quality. We can clearly see, here we are speaking about uh, a top-notch uh, PCB manufacturer. Now don't forget, you can uh, check the link on the description and uh, you can place your first order. Also, don't forget to check their website. They have a Christmas promotion and you can get uh, some free coupons. Now let's go back to our repair. I will say, let's open the laptop. Let's try to see if we can fix it. Hmm? What can be the problem? Charging port? Probably not. The charging port is solid. It's, I mean, every charging port, like we round pin, uh, is quite solid. Not sure what can be, can be the problem. Probably the power input circuit. Huh? Or a short on the main power. But if it will be a short on the main power, I will see it probably on the power supply. But yeah, not always. And the laptop, it's open. Yeah, that's a nice classic motherboard. Let's plug the charger. And let's check the voltage on the main power rail. So we have ground, and we have plus on probably any capacitor. And we have no voltage, you can see zero volts. Battery voltage, zero also. Charging for voltage. Charging for voltage is, yeah, over 20. Let me lower just a little bit so we can see. So we have 19.8 at the input, so the charging port is fine. Now, what do we need to find is actually the input circuit with two MOSFETs, like usual. And probably are on the other side of the board. Yeah, it's nothing here. Or maybe, wait, we didn't check. I mean, we've seen it's no voltage. Maybe the main power rail is shorted. Let's see. Main power rail. Zero ohms. So indeed, the main power rail is shorted. If the main power rail is shorted, the input circuit it will cut the power down. We have a seal there, so the board was never uh, repaired. I will say like usual, let's come with the power supply, lowering the voltage to a safe value. We need a ground. That looks like a good ground. We need a thermal camera. Good. And we are coming with the current somewhere here. So here we have 0 0.8 and here we have 0 0.4. So plus it's here on this side because the voltage is higher. Higher voltage, higher, higher resistance. That means this is plus, it's not ground. And it's taking like 2.4 amps. What is that? One second. Is something here? 
one more time I'm still confused it's a capacitor that's crazy what a nice job on a Friday it's Friday today a capacitor I mean I'm not sure which one is the electro electrolytic one or the ceramic one but we are gonna find out soon just a little bit of alcohol so again coming with current exactly on the same point power on off on off you can see the alcohol is moving around the capacitor you can see it yeah so the ceramic capacitor is gone now here we have some plastic thingy and i don't want to melt the plastic say hello to my little friend so the capacitor has been removed perfect so what about now huh? now we still have short on the main power rail let's see on the same spot and it's not short it means if we are plugging the battery we raise the voltage on the power supply to 19 plug in the charger i mean the fan is spinning you see in the fan check that it's taking like 1.3 amps 2.4 amps and Yeah, probably someone reset the BIOS. Yeah, probably someone opened the laptop. Because otherwise, why the BIOS it will be reset? Yeah, and it's working fine. Check that, it's loading the Windows. I mean, it can be like to have like a dead BIOS battery. But I really doubt. I mean, this laptop is coming from a computer show, so probably... Yeah, we have 3.1 volts on the, on the BIOS battery. So probably they, they try to fix it before sending here. And we have the charging sign and we have picture. That's what is most important. Okay? Quite easy one, huh? Easy pizza. Pizza on a Friday? I, I will say, you know, Tuesdays and Fridays are the best days for pizza. Now, what we learned from this, uh, from this uh, repair video? We learned we can easily earn a pizza the doing a repair like a laptop repair which looks complicated i mean the laptop is dead it's not charging and you will think you know that dc cheap you know short atmosphere but actually it can be quite simple and the ceramic capacitor are well known to die uh, i mean on a motherboard the capacitor has the higher chance uh, to get faulty now very important uh, is to figure it out the main power rail. The main power rail is very easy to be found. I mean, if you have doubt, yeah, I will show you quickly. I mean, if you have a, a doubt, uh, to, let's say, okay, ground. I mean, you see with the power supply, based on the voltage, I figure it out, which is plus and minus. But which is the main power rail is very simple. You have coil, MOSFET, capacitor. MOSFET, ceramic capacitor, MOSFET, ceramic uh, electrolytic capacitor and ceramic capacitor uh, MOSFETs no capacitor or this it's an electrolytic capacitor not sure what is that or it's a chip it's a BIOS anyway the idea is first is be sure it's not ground yeah so coming to a capacitor like this one here yeah? here yeah the battery is plugged in so here is no ground and on the other side is it's ground yeah so from here from this point where it's not ground i can beep just to be sure that's the main power rail let's say i can beep this one yeah that's mean the my my truck is going from here here then i can beep this capacitor the electrolytic capacitor that's mean my truck is coming here then I can beep here, here, 
That's mean my truck is coming like that, that, that. That's mean main power. That's why we are saying main because it's the main one. Every power supply is connected to this big truck. So that's how you figure it out the main power rail. Then use a safe voltage for diagnostic. Like uh, I'm using like 0 0.7, 0 0.8 volts. I mean with this sort of voltage, you can't really burn anything on the motherboard. Okay, I'm going to stop now. I will say have a beautiful weekend. And see you on the Sunday uh, coffee live stream. Yeah? Bye.